thinking, no, I'm, I'm not a stagehand. Uh, I just wear these clothes because uh, they do wonders for my figure, you know? <laughs> I'll black everything, baby. <laughs> so uh, my name's Danny Trainer, um, and I do find that sometimes people tend to forget my second name. Now, um, it's, not the, uh, it's not the most common of names. Now, I'm not saying it's you know, ultra, super rare. It's not a a lost Van Gogh or a shiny Charizard, but um, <laughs> you know, it's not a it's not a Johnson, it's not a Smith, um, and also it's a uh, trainer is uh, too close to. <laughs> Let's just clarify, I'm not shit. Guys, <laughs> 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 I'm a bit overboard there, guys. I'm gonna get, like, my ego's big enough as <laughs> well. Um, no, tra my trainer, it's, it's too close to, like, toner and turner. And you know when it comes to surnames beginning with T that have two syllables, it's like they're the two big dogs up there. They're like uh, they're like Messi and Ronaldo, and I'm like I'm like Suarez trying to nibble my way through that class. <laughs> so I thought to myself, right, how am I going to make it easier for people to remember my name? And then uh, then it hit me, right, whenever people first meet me, one of the first things that they think is. He could do with a personal trainer. <laughs> I, I know, I, I, I was as shocked as you were. Um, and it's true, people do think that. Um, I've, I've gone out, I've done the research myself. I was pounding the pavements with my clipboard. I surveyed 100 people. <laughs> you know, on what they thought of me, the second highest answer was, it could do with a personal trainer. <laughs> so people are thinking it. Um, if you must know, the, uh, the highest answer uh, was, who does he think he's fooling with that all black get up? <laughs> so um, I thought, if I can combine uh, that thought, you know, he could do with a personal trainer with my name, Danny Trainer, uh, different spelling. Uh, then you get, uh, Danny could do with a personal trainer. <laughs> you know? And it works. It clicks. You'll go home a few nights from now, you'll be thinking, what was the name of that big Irish guy with the... <laughs> the, uh, the, oh yeah, that one needed a personal trainer. Trainer. Danny Trainer. <laughs> there you go. It works. It works. <laughs> but seriously, uh, why are flies called flies? Why? <laughs> it, makes, it makes no sense whatsoever. Um, if you think of everything in the world that has the ability to fly, why give the title of fly to this like little annoying bug? <laughs> you know, what about the eagle? Or like the crane? Or um, Lammergeier, you know? I, I watched Planet Earth, yeah? The, the first one, like the, I don't care for sequels. Um, <laughs> got uh, bats, what about bats or peacocks? You know, have you ever seen a peacock fly? It's, it's absolutely gorgeous, I tell you that. It's something else. Um, the way uh, peacocks take off with their plume feathers and toes. It's like a, like a bride making her way down the aisle. <laughs> On the happiest day of her life. <laughs> that, uh, that day I saw the peacock fly. Oh. 
was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, you ever seen a, a fly fly? It, shit, flies just buzz about, they bump off walls and windows. There's no rhyme or rhythm to their movements. They're just, uh, they're just buzzing around and you're trying to get them out of the fucking house. And you're like, get out, the phallic you. And like, somehow the fly made its way into my domain. Through a tiny gap in the window, like yawn size, right? It was out there in the infinite world. There's so much space for a fly to live in. Yet somehow it found that little gap and it just made its way in. And now I'm offering the fly safe passage out of my domain. You know? I've opened that window as far as it can go. You can fit a car tire through that window. <laughs> like not, a, not a Range Rover, like it's too big for, like not, Range Rover tire is not gonna, like a Corsa. You can put a Corsa tire through that window, right? And the fly is still not, it's still not following suit. And they're, they're just so annoying. I've, I've had many run-ins with many flies over the years. <laughs> I, uh, I hark back to my ninth birthday party. <laughs> that was my first real experience with a fly. <sighs> I had some friends over and we were playing in my bedroom. New toys, Transformers, Power Rangers and the like. <laughs> and, uh, and then from a window emerged a fly. And from my mouth emerged a sigh. <laughs> and from that fly emerged a noise. A noise, you know the one that annoys? It annoys me and it annoys the boys. It annoys the boys so much that the boys dropped the toys. <laughs> Down went the toys and up came the arms, flailing and flapping. But to the fly came no harm. Madness ensued. The fly causing a fray. But in the corner of my eye, Link's body spray. <laughs> Forward I surged and I grabbed the can. Out of the room, the scared boys ran. Then it was just us, myself and my foe. I'd say we were toe to toe, but flies don't have toes. <laughs> Went to the left, then to the right. But I stood firm. Ready to fight. Oh. It was a glorious battle. I wish I could say, but in the end, I just spread it with Link's body spray. <laughs> uh, yet, to this day, I'm shaking to the core. For uh, no matter how many flies I spray with Link's body spray, there'll always be more. <laughs> Thank you guys, great. <laughs>